days, we can all use a little pick-me-up every now and then, and a local church is hoping to provide that, all while helping people get rid of their Christmas trees. Here's our Monica Evans. The tree burning ceremony was more than just a way to get rid of an old Christmas tree. It was a way to fan the flames of fellowship to cast a light from the darkness in this world. One by one, big and small Christmas trees and wreaths were placed in a pile at St. Christopher's Episcopal Church to become the conduits of light. Some even placed prayers in a pile as a way to lift them above. We're living in a time that's complex and we're actually, what they say is in the middle of a loneliness epidemic on top of our pandemic, on top of the, the turmoil in our politics. Something like this actually lets us remember what it's all about. The, the togetherness, the, the way that humans are hardwired for connection, the way that what actually brings us together far outweighs anything that separates us. Reverend Dr. Hillary Raining says this ancient tradition, which the church has done for eight years, is a favorite for parishioners and people in the community. It is a, it is a shining light. It's an inspiration to everybody. It's just a get together time, which our country really needs. It's a really great way just to meet a lot of new people. New people, new faces, some facing similar circumstances in a world Raining has great hope for. My hope for this country is that we're able to rise above the things that divide us. That may sound like generic to say, but I actually think it's possible if we, if we step back and stop saying one side versus another side, our side versus your side, and actually remind ourselves that, as, as the great expression is, that we are two wings of the same bird, and we can only fly when we're flapping together. Raining says she wants people to spread joy and to realize they're not alone. In Gladwin, Monica Evans, Fox 29 News.